Hey what's going on guys welcome to your third Bootstrap 4 tutorial and in this video I want to talk about the Bootstrap Reboot. Alright so the Bootstrap Reboot gives us some kind of baseline set of styles to work from using only element selectors and it's built on top of Normalize which is going to really help with element consistency across all different browsers. So it provides us these styles on things like lists, headings, paragraphs, all the different elements without using classes. So it's a really kind of basic, clean layer of styles to work from. Gives us a good starting point if you like. And you can read more about the reboot on the docs right here. Just click on content and then reboot. And it shows you all the different approaches it uses and the different styles it uses for headings, uh, lists, preformatted text, tables, etc. So really kind of strips out a lot of the browser inconsistencies and unifies them into one really nice clean baseline style. So what I want to do now is show you a quick example by creating a few different elements. So I'm going to head to Atom and this is where we left off in the last tutorial. So this is our starter kind of file and uh, I just want to pop some content in here now. So the first thing I'm going to do is a H1 and we'll call this hello world and then we'll do a h2 underneath that so we'll say h2 and this is the h2 and then what we'll do is we'll do a paragraph tag and I've just uh, copied already some lorem ipsum so I'm going to paste that right in there for our paragraph just going to come back to the start then if I can there we go all right and then underneath that let's do a ul and then some li tags within it so We'll say potatoes, um, onions, and chicken. Sounds like an amazing tea. All right, so there's our UL. And then finally, let's just do a form as well. So we'll say form, and then we'll do a label inside the form. And this should say text field, because that's what we're going to do next. Then we'll do a input type equals text and we'll give it a placeholder as well placeholder is equal to let's just say placeholder like so close that off and then I've doubled up on these dudes so let's get rid of one of them finally we'll do input type equals submit so this is going to be our button at the bottom with a value equal to click me all right then so now we've got some basic HTML elements on the page so let's save this now and let's check it out in this browser so let's go over here and here and now you can see what this looks like with the base styles included so just to show you what it looked like before let me take off this thing right here let me comment out this like so this is the bootstrap CSS so we're going to take a look at what it looks like before we apply that. You can see it's a different font family. This is Times New Roman and things look a little different. So if I take this back out now, you're going to see it just kind of cleans it up a little bit, makes it look a little nicer, removes a lot of the margins, etc. Gives it a nicer, cleaner font family, uh, gives these things a little more padding. And also, I just want to show you this in Firefox just to compare and you can see they look pretty similar. They have very similar styles, so we've got no browser really inconsistencies between these two now. So that's what the reboot does for us. It gives us a really nice baseline uh, to work on. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is move on now to bootstrap containers and also explore the breakpoints. So I'll see you then.